Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going over some of the best fall and winter trends that are super wearable and that you're really gonna wanna incorporate in your closet. First trend that I wanna talk to you guys about is loafers. Loafers in general have been everywhere. More specifically, the Prada loafers, I am obsessed. People have been wearing them with mini skirts, with mini dresses, with maxi skirts even, with tailored trousers. It is just really such a good look. People have also been styling them with knee-high socks. I think the inspiration came from Hailey Bieber. I think she really killed that look with uh, the knee-high socks, with the loafers, with the black blazer and the black sunglasses. People have also been wearing loafers with crew socks, specifically white socks, which is just such a cute look. So loafers is something that you're gonna want in your closet for this season. Next up is white tank tops, and we've been seeing this every wear on the runways and street style white tank tops in general are just something that you're gonna want in your closet because you know it's just you know a white tank top do i need to explain myself more but honestly now white tank tops you know they're just they're just cool also you can wear your white tank top throughout many seasons obviously in summer and in spring in fall you layer it over a jacket in winter maybe over a sweater there's just a multitude of options if you're looking to invest in like a really good one i've been seeing the white prada tank tops which i've been you know dying for Trend number three is skirts. Skirts are having a big moment right now, be it maxi skirts, mini skirts, micro mini skirts, you know, all shapes and sizes. I have been loving the maxi skirt trend. You can wear it in the fall or in winter with tights underneath, or you can also wear it in the summer or in spring if you wanna kind of use your pieces a bit more. For mini skirts, I am obsessed. People have been styling them with knee-high boots, with loafers, with a pair of tights, just, you know, anything. Micro mini skirts, honestly, if you have a butt, it's gonna be really hard for you. I mean, I've tried and failed miserably. It was a joke. But yeah, if you're into that, I mean, do you. Next trend that I've been loving for this fall is full-on denim outfits. And this is such a cool one because obviously denim is so comfortable, it's super practical. Everyone has denim in their closet. More specifically, what we're seeing more of this season is denim bags and denim shoes, denim boots, you know, just everything denim. I think denim has really the power to make your outfit look super, super cool. One struggle, however, is that if you do want to pull off a full denim outfit, you kind of need to look for shapes and sizes and textures that really match your body type. This is super important because if you don't pick the right shape or size for your body type, it's just not going to work. So just be mindful of that. But in general, denim on denim is just 10 out of 10. In case you're looking for a really cool pair of denim boots, Check out the Alexander Wang um, knee-high boots. I've been dying for those. Next thing, we've been seeing a lot of sheer material. We've mostly seen it this fall on the runways and we honestly see it across the board and tops and dresses and overlays. Just anything sheer is working right now. Honestly, it is such a chic look. If you do want to kind of work your way into that trend, I'd recommend you start with like a sheer top and you can style it with like a black bralette underneath and then, you know, work your way up, I guess. Next thing that has really been a big thing this season is ballerina flats. And I know this is such a controversial topic. I don't know why so many people are angry about ballerina flats coming back, but honestly, I'm not mad about it because, you know, they're chic. For me, honestly, ballerina flats just have the power to elevate every outfit. And if you're wearing them, you look like you have your shit together, which, by the way, no one does, but you know, the goal is to kind of look like you do. We've been seeing a lot of new, new ballerinas, which, they're honestly 10 out of 10. So if you're looking to invest in a good pair, check out Miu Miu. Next thing is oversized suits. And by suits, I mean obviously trousers and blazers, like a set. If I could wear anything for the rest of my life, it would surely be an oversized suit because one, they're just, you know, very comfortable. And two, they make me look like I have my shit together. So all jokes aside, this isn't like a new trend. We've been seeing it for many seasons now. More specifically, what's really in right now is the layered suits. By layered suits, I mean wearing waistcoats under your blazer or wearing a long coat over your blazer. I think it gives you such an elevated look and such a chic look. You can style these suits with obviously heels, boots, loafers, just anything. I think in general, the trend is that we're transitioning out of the Y2K trend that was happening in the summer and in spring to, you know, a trend that's a bit more chic, that's a bit more elevated, that's a bit more mature, which honestly I'm very into because Y2K was not it for me. 
Next is oversized bomber jackets and this is such a practical trend. You can throw bomber jackets over anything and honestly they're very very comfortable. You can definitely layer a lot underneath them if you get them oversized. And yeah, nothing more to say here. Next trend is, and don't hate me for this, low rise. Low rise jeans, low rise skirts, low rise trousers, just low rise in general. And I know low rise is not you know something that we're all into because let's face it you're no longer going to be able to kind of hide the muffin top which we all have and which is super super normal but i have a trick for you if you're into the low rise look but are not really ready to actually wear something low rise what i do is when i'm buying my jeans and i'm kind of looking for like a low rise fit i buy my jeans a size or two sizes larger than my usual size and then i'll just let them kind of sit down on my waist and you know i'll be able to achieve a low rise look without actually wearing low rise jeans and the fact that they're baggy and they're oversized will make your upper body look slimmer which is a win-win situation so try that out next is big bags honestly i am not very into that trend because i you know i'm petite okay and if i'm wearing a big bag i'm just gonna look like a kid holding you know just a huge thing and it's just not it for me it's not gonna do it but if you are into big bags and if you're a bit taller and if you kind of like that look then by all means do it because you know people are doing it I guess so all of these trends are super cool and very wearable for this fall season but you know what's cooler than having a trendy wardrobe it's having a timeless wardrobe and i'll tell you exactly how to build a timeless capsule wardrobe in this video if you made it this far i love you guys so much for watching if you like this video as usual please like please comment please subscribe and i'll see you next time